In this video, we're going all over Greece next on Jakeation Vlogs. What's up, Jakeationers? We're in Athens, Greece. One of my first ever travel vlogs happened here in Athens. And right behind me is the Acropolis Hill and the Parthenon. We are at a rooftop bar called Pay for Athens. We just had some drinks. I had a coffee, I had a, a latte. We're eating tons of euros over here. We're having a good time. Monastraki Square, which is a small monastery, is right down there. It's just such a beautiful view. And the weather is great this time in May. Thumbs up. Made it to Munich, got the first Auf Wiedersehen, Dankeschön, and we're switching over to the plane to Athens. Proof that we're in Germany, in Munich, here we go. How funny is that that they have Hofbräuhaus Munich hats over here. And just last Friday I was at that pretzel eating contest in Las Vegas at their Hofbräuhaus. Look at all these stats. 6 million annual visitors at Oktoberfest, 35 million guests are welcome to Bavaria each year. We are in the region of Bavaria. You've seen Jcation videos on there. The Olympic Tower is 291 meters high, 1,777 hours of sunshine each year. I think San Diego beats that. One thing I've noticed about this airport, and most of Germany especially, is how organized and clean everything is over here. This is the duty-free food area. Amazing. What are those? Third to the bottom, Barcelona. Ah, that's still in about three weeks. Athens and Greece first. One more flight, about three and a half hours to Athens. Munich to Athens was a little long. We had a little weird delay where they had to check all the bags that were up on the compartments. See, and making sure everyone claimed it. That was weird. But yeah, about two and a half hours from Munich to Athens. Grabbing my bags. Gotta get a metro now to the main square, which I've been to in the past. And then I'm gonna taxi from the main square to my Airbnb. Air tags are freaking amazing. So it shows that my bag is at least here in the city. Oh, should be coming out real soon. And just as I said, there it is. Yes, sir. And there we are, Athens Maps. Right when you get outside the baggage gate, just past the taxis, you'll see the Sofitel. You're gonna hook a left and just go straight up this escalator. I remember how lost I was the first time I was here in 2014. Thank God for YouTube, see? See what YouTube does for you? So you go up this escalator and through this walking bridge that's indoor and that'll get you to the metro. You just gotta buy your ticket at one of the ticket booths. Jacation Nation, we're in Athens. Let's find out how we got here. Thank God for people movers. A GNR says generation. Is that J Eric Cation? One way is nine bucks and they do have an English menu so just get the one way Athens to the airport. So it's about a half hour metro ride. You could also take the bus but it takes about 15 minutes longer and you could also fall into traffic. So I gotta go to Syntagma Square which is the main square in Athens and then from there I'm just gonna Uber cab it to my Airbnb since I got my bags. Well we made it to Syntagma Square. I've vlogged here once upon a time. One of my first handful of vlogs. I'm starving so we're gonna get some euros right now. I'm starving so I found this place by Syntagma Square and uh, just got some euros to start and taking it back to my uh, BNB. So this spot is literally like two blocks from Syntagma Square. Now I just gotta grab a Uber back to my apartment. Traditional Greek food, I don't know the name. Neo Classico I think it's called. <laughs> Beautiful view from my balcony. Wow, you see some of the mountains here and you are up high on the fifth floor. I can see some of the city and the moon. This is very so romantic. Guys, I am starving. We're out here in this balcony of this Airbnb that I got for like 60 bucks a night. I got a pork euro and I also got a chicken euro because I knew I was still going to be hungry. What I love about Greece is they put fries on their euros. I already got oil on my hands. I'm so hungry guys. I should have probably ate before I uh, when I bought this but I had all my bags and I was just anxious to get back here so I took it to go. Gyro, gyro, gyro count one of many. Mmm. French fries, the pita. Wow. I love you, Greece. 
This is so good. I'll give you guys a tour of my Airbnb later. Look at this beautiful sunset view. Uh, I see a lot of people up there at that monument. Will I go up there? Probably not. Uh, you can see the mountains and the hills up. Jet lag got me. I've been asleep all day. Um, I kind of planned on that. I kind of knew this was going to be bad. So I said, you know what? Nice Airbnb. Just chill and sleep. I never usually see oranges growing outside the street. It's almost eight at night. I didn't leave my apartment since I got out of here. Look at dead bird. Yikes. But I'm hungry. So I found a Greek spot nearby. Well, since I'm in Greece, isn't everything Greek? Come on, man. This is where I would have gotten coffee in the morning. Hopefully tomorrow if I'm up, I'll come here and get it. It's only a block away from my place. Tons of future Greek freak Giannis Atentacumpo's playing here. Literally three blocks from my place. I can't even pronounce it. It starts with a K. <laughs> I'll show you what I got. My goal is to drink all these different beers during my trip. Cool, they were super nice over there. I got a Greek gyro once again and a Greek salad and a beer and a water, of course. I'm gonna head back to my apartment because I'm just not right today. Look at this uphill street I'm on. Won't get me unless I walk up it. Look at this bohemian pork steak gyro I got with fries. And of course I had to get myself a Greek salad. Look at that. I love the cheese on there. And the veggies here in this part of the world just hit different. When you got a fifth floor patio, you got to take advantage of it. So every takeaway chance I get, I'm going to do since I have this really nice place. All right, let's dig into this cheese. Oh, we I'll even eat the olives here. This looks amazing. Mmm. There's capers, not pickle balls, but capers. Oh, that's tasty. Wow. Got some greens and got some veggies in my life. Oh yeah. So all this together was only $17.50. The salad, the giant gyro, the alpha beer. Shout out to the dude that was helping me out. He was like, yo, this is the best beer. And then I also got a giant water. So when he said, do you want the small or the large? I was like, I want the large. I didn't know it'd be this big. Look at this thing, it's bigger than my head. It's like a California burrito. There's tzatziki sauce, pork steak, french fries seasoning, tomatoes, onions, let's go. Mm. Man, the char on the barbecue and the pita, money. This is only two blocks away from me, heck yeah. That's yummy. Wow. Beautiful sunset here. I'm a happy guy. So I'm basically staying here in Athens just for my first four nights so I can get accustomed to the time difference. And I'm not totally out of it once I get to the conference because I'm presenting in about a week. I also got to prepare my conference presentation. So I need like total peace. Yeah, I could do the whole touristy thing and go all around Athens and, and whatnot. But I've been here once before, beautiful place, but I got a job to do first. So once I get that done, and I actually really just came here to eat all the gyros. So yeah, and the Lakers are at 4 a.m tonight so this uh, jet lag will help me because I'm gonna watch the Laker game all right guys I'm just gonna enjoy my balcony view while I have it for another three nights and uh, we'll see you later all right I'm awake at a good enough time this place is called caffeine dealer they call it area 51 so I guess I don't know what it is it's like a subsidiary of caffeine dealer I'm not gonna jaywalk here either I can't read Greek but I think this is the spot because there's tons of people kind of looks like it but we'll see maybe it's across the other way actually this is the spot I can't even pronounce that. Amity? This is literally two blocks from where my Airbnb is. This place looks cracking, but there's not a seat in the house. I smashed that squid. Squid with feta cheese. That's on fleek for sure. So I just had an early dinner over at Lolo's Seafood Restaurant, and I had the stuffed squid with feta cheese. And I'm telling you, that was on fleek. I loved it. They uh, stuffed it with the feta. You squirt the lemon on it and it's amazing and I got a beet salad I've never had a beet salad before the girl told me that it was in season so I said hey since it's Dwight Schrute beets farm season I might as well try it now beets kind of taste like sweet soil don't ask me how I know that soil tastes like but it tastes like Guinness jelly 
<laughs> but uh, the stuffed squid was amazing. I had a Fix Hellas beer. That was my third beer here. I've also had the Mythos and the Alpha. The Alpha is the best. Really good. But uh, Lolo's restaurant was really good. Seafood. Had to get something other than a Euro. So <laughs> I'm going to walk over and go shopping now. So we made it over here to Plaka, which is a really awesome neighborhood where it's a narrow streets. There's tons of restaurants, tons of souvenir shops. I'm trying to find a Zara of all things, but we had to walk through Plaka to get from my apartment. So this is Syntagma Square and the light literally just went off right when I pressed record. Of course. And we just saw the tomb of the unknown soldier and the once an hour every hour uh, ceremony which was awesome. Gotta enjoy this balcony while I have it for another two days. Yeah I've been seeing that there's a lot of coffee shops in this nice little quiet neighborhood I'm in and this place is called Little John's Coffee and I ended up just getting a cappuccino, milk no sugar, also a cheese and bread pastry. It's an alright cappuccino. I need to find my drip coffee though. That sip sip drip drip. <laughs> Try this uh, sesame cheese pastry they have here. It said yellow cheese. Mmm. Nice pungent cheese guys. Mm. Very flaky. This is a good pastry. We're walking up the Acropolis Hill right now. It's morning of May 6th. Trying to get to Monastraki Square for a food tour. Yeah, just get in my uphill incline exercise. It's awesome. Just checking this whole area out. But I'm telling you, I'm out of shape. <laughs> I literally just went up and down the Acropolis. This is a wake up call to get in shape. We're here at the famous Monastraki Square and it used to be a monastery back in the day. Now there's a famous flea market. This is the old monastery. It's Monastraki because it's a little monastery, a small monastery. As you can see, it's very small. And you can see the Acropolis Hill over there. And we are going on a food tour right now. Okay, this is Christmas all year long. This place is called Kukland. Wow. So this is Alice in Kukland. This restaurant's called Little Kook. They have have really amazing decorations here all over and this little alleyway was amazing just walking through it and you got like a stagecoach Humpty Dumpty it's beautiful this right here is what they call kuluri it's a famous bread with sesame seed on it and we're at the bakery that's been open for over 60 years they said it's one of the most popular breads here so we are on the Athens food on foot tours and we're having the kuluri Oh, this smells good. I love this. I actually had similar bread as you guys saw earlier, just an hour ago. Mm. I would dip this in some cheese. I'm having flashbacks to my pretzel eating contest last week. This is such a beautiful time of year. Look at the trees here and all these restaurants. It's a beautiful area. Look at all these baskets here. They used to transport stuff from the farms in, on the islands. Stop number two, we're here at Creme Royale Bakehouse Cafe. A lot of pastries to start. This gentleman baker right here is making, it's called Bugatze. Let's try it out. Looks like there's powdered sugar, some cinnamon, and it's like apple-y. Let's see it. Mmm. A very subtle sweetness, not too sweet, not under sweet, right down the middle. This is a spanakopita, a spinach pie. Mmm. That's crazy. I see uncle and aunties are over here, bro. Mmm. Spanakopita, that is really good. Look at all these pastries they have in here. Oh, these are so good. I had one this morning, you guys saw it? Yeah, looking for some honey, honey. This is the best place to get it in Athens. This is the honey. This is one of the most famous coffee shops. Look how beautiful it is. Okay, so the coffee beans are inside. We pour a little bit and then we shake because we need the coffee beans to be inside the coffee for the flavor. And then we wait for a little bit so the coffee beans to settle down, okay? Thank you. Mm. I love you. Look very young. <laughs> like my son, 25. Look at this awesome terrace that they have out. This is a nice area. So this is the fish and meat market. It's open every day except for Sundays. It reminds me of the Bocaria Mercat in Barcelona. We're in cheese heaven right now, guys. Wow. 
Wow. So this tour actually commences with a big feast, big lunch. And you also get some white wine, some local Greek wine. I'm stuffed. It's 35 minutes to walk back to my apartment. Definitely gonna do that to burn it off. Bye. Yamas. Yamas. Thank you. Thank you for showing us around and all the food. It was a pleasure. And all the history. It was a pleasure. Where, where can we follow? Food on foot. Food on foot on Instagram. I'll link it down below. Yes. And say hi to Eva. Eparisto. Paracalo. It was a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the nicest entrances to a metro station I've ever seen. Look at this. It's like an Instagram entrance. Look at this, guys. This is how lively this is in the middle of the day. Let's give you a little tour of my Airbnb here in the Kukaki neighborhood. It's just south of the Plaka neighborhood. It was 65 bucks a night for four nights. So about 260 plus euro. Not bad at all. And it was a really nice, quiet fifth floor, very top floor. I have the entire floor to myself. Huge patio. I loved it. So this is where I ate most of my gyros. I like this little uh, street sign that they have here. And look at the view. You got the Philippopolis Monument down the way over there. Just look how big this is. And the only thing is at night when it's windy, this canopy right here makes so much noise. I feel like somebody's on the roof trying to get in. Santa or something. There's an ashtray because you know what? A lot of people here smoke. Huge benches. And they have these stools. And you overlook here and there's like a hill's edge that you can check out. A ton of mini trees over here. Olive trees. But I love the colorful table and right here is my room nice what is it a queen size bed it's not hot at all but i use the air conditioning a little bit they have a ton of books you can read this really nice greek poster small tv this is my desk where i was editing and you also get to check out some really cool artwork here local artwork it looks like and this is the kitchen i like that they have a dulce gusto a black and decker grill and a teapot you got your stove and a nice refrigerator, sink, and all the kitchen utensils and plates that you need. Tons of outlets. And I like how they have all the information and maps, and pictures, and even food suggestions over here if you want some delivery. And I like the lights over here. And in order for the room to work, you have to have this magnetic card in there. You could lock from the inside. And check out the bathroom. The bathroom's actually really nice. We have a rain shower, nice low to the ground throne, decent sink that the water was nice and warm over here and enough toiletry room. They give you towels and toilet paper and a bunch of other stuff. They even have incense down there. What I like about these windows is like you slide them open and then when you leave, you could actually close this like that. So that's pretty cool, right? Another extra blackout curtain layer and you can do that too on the sliding door. Yeah, this is really cool And they have all the Wi-Fi stuff. I dug this Airbnb shout out I'm gonna link it down below if you guys are coming to Athens and want to stay here It's been a minute since I've had pasta I've eaten nothing but Greek food here So I got the tagliatelle, which is my favorite type of pasta. It's like a fresca al ragu It looks like there's some sort of like pork in here and they got the cheese grated in here Gotta ask for a fork though. I can't eat this with a spoon and I also got a Greek wine red wine all I had to do was look. It was right in front of me. I got a white jersey on, so I better be careful. Ooh, it's piping hot. Ooh, it's got like a little cinnamony sweet taste to the al ragu sauce. Very thick tagliatelle. Mmm. some of that cheese. All right. This is rated highly on Google. 4.6. 9 euro 50. It's a good lunch. It's literally two blocks from the Plaka neighborhood and you can see the Acropolis Museum right across the street. Very tasty. Thumbs up. We are with Sab and Jason from My Town Hello. Beach. Yeah, yeah we're hanging gorilla. out for the day. And a pink gorilla. We thought it was a strip club, but it's really just a cafe. So about 12 days in and this is Giro 7 for me. And <laughs> Sam and Jason, uh, I don't know how many you guys have had, but... Lost count. That's a pri yeah. private information. Yeah. We have gained weight. <laughs> yeah. And we are currently at Sabas. And of course, I am drinking another Mythos. Let's dig in. When you come here to Athens, just try them all. Try as many Euros as you can. They're cheap too, like three bucks, so... All right, eating time. This is my first lamb Euro. Number two is coming soon. 
tzatziki. Mmm. Thumbs up. Check out this place near the Acropolis Hill. It's called Hans and Gretel, and they got chimney cake. Yeah, not really. Amy says it's chocolate. Well, check it out, guys. We got a better view up here. They even had a rooftop to the rooftop. <laughs> yeah, the rooftop to the rooftop. Don't forget to go to the yep. roof rooftop. The roof rooftop. So they're taking me through this small town off Acropolis Hill. We're trying to get all our kilos yeah. <laughs> taken I care of. See you entering the neighborhood. Yeah, stay quiet. Be quiet, San Diego. Alright all right, guys, man. much Woo. love. We'll see you in uh, Costa Rica one day. Yeah. Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll see you at the next t bex or Costa Rica yeah, or San Diego. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love you guys. Follow them. Too, Follow their YouTube. They're going to have 50,000 soon. <laughs> All right, JKH Nation. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Really appreciate it. We're headed over to Santorini. It's going to be a great time. Until the next one, you've been watching JKH Nation, baby. Uh...